let me draw your attention to the fact that I estimated these numbers uh, to within the nearest tenth of a millimeter as it's represented on each of the rulers. And the rulers are mostly reduced in size, so those would actually be in terms of fractions of a millimeter. We won't worry about that, but the point is, I'll have a lot of people measure these things and say, okay, let's see, that looks like 32, and that looks like 18, and that looks like uh, 13, okay? Totally ignoring the fact that each of those measurements is divided on the ruler into 10 sub-measurements. At the very least, you would say, you know, 22.9 or 23.0 or 18.5 or 13.7. You wouldn't just report 22 or 18 or 13 when there are markings down to the tenth of a unit. Furthermore, you estimate down to the nearest tenth of a subunit. Uh, you see the space between two of the smallest markings, and we estimate to the nearest tenth of that unit. And that is standard measuring procedure, which I would hope, uh, but since it's not covered on the SOL, I'm not too optimistic that it is uh, covered in lab courses in secondary schools or, or even before that. And any time you think about measurement, that's a standard procedure. So anyhow, um, I don't like to go on about this thing, but that's something I would certainly expect people, if, if they don't know it now, to grasp and practice throughout the course.